The next time you're at Dollar Tree, grab yourself some of their succulent picks in a variety of different colors and styles that you like. And then you're also going to want to grab some of their foam pool noodles, but make sure you grab the green ones. So I have this vintage oil painting here. This one I actually was hanging on to. It was my grandmother's. So I'm taking out the oil painting as well, removing the matte border around the frame. I decided I wanted to paint my frame. I want it to be full gold. So I'm going to use some of this deco art metallic paint and I'm just going to do a quick coat over top of the frame. So once my paint was on and it fully dried and set I could come in with my frame and my pool noodles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the frame over. I'm going to use the pool noodle as a measuring guide and then I'm going to cut it exactly so it fits in the little ledge of the frame. So I do this really easily with an exacto knife and then I'm going to cut the pool noodle directly in half. With my half a pool noodle, I'm going to take these pieces and I'm going to continue to cut them till I have enough to fill the frame. So once I have enough here, I'm going to take some E6000 and I'm going to glue just the edges of the frame and the edges of the pool noodle. And I'm going to place the pool noodle into the frame, but making sure that the curved side is going to be facing out. So I'm working backwards here so you can see I have the cut side and I'm placing it down into the ledge of the frame. So I'm going to continue doing this until I've glued in all the pieces of my pool noodle and the entire frame has been filled. Now you do want to let this set for a good uh, six hours if you can just to let the glue set and let the pool noodles really settle in there. Then once it's fully set, I'm going to come in here and create my own little backing. So I have this just rough piece of wood left over from another project. It's like a thin MDF paneling. And I'm going to glue that on with hot glue and a mixture of E6000. And I'm just going to press it onto the pool noodles there, giving a little bit of pressure and holding it down till the hot glue is set. Then I'm going to go ahead and flip it over. Make sure I like the placement of my pool noodles. I can fix them up and adjust them if need be. And then just to make the back a little prettier, I have this uh, green fabric that I'm just going to lay over top. And then I'm going to take a stapler and I'm going to staple it around just so the back is closed in. So I'm going to be turning this into like a live art piece. So I'm going to start with some moss. So I have some reindeer moss here and you want to make sure that you have lots of different styles of moss to give this some different texture. So I have reindeer moss, I have some Spanish moss, lots of different types of moss to give me all those varying different colors of green and brown. So I'm going to work along gluing them onto the pool noodles and you want to make sure that you shove them down in between the pool noodles. Once I have filled in the entire frame, I'm going to come in with the succulent picks that I picked up from the dollar store, trim them down, add a bit of hot glue to the edge, and then I'm going to work them in, in between the pool noodles. So the stem of the succulent just sits right in between those pool noodles and it just kind of grabs it and holds them in there. I'm going to add as many succulents as I like till I get the desired look. And here is this finished project. I am so happy with how this project turned out. It's like an earthy, elegant piece of decor that I can hang in my home. And it didn't cost me a lot to make this project. I really hope that this inspires you to get creative and grab some succulents from the Dollar Tree and see what you can come up with with this project. I got this box on Amazon. This is gr a great functional piece you can use over and over again. And I am just going to wedge some floral foam that I pre-cut so that it will really um, be wedged in there tight. And there you go. And I'm gonna put the succulents right over on one end of our, and uh, most of these succulents I also got on Amazon. I've been big on not having things delivered to me, or on having things delivered to me. But look, look how pretty those are right there in the edge. So we're just gonna keep building this up and putting some succulents all along the edge there. Let's put this one right here. A couple of these, just like so. Isn't this looking good already? And I wanna, I wanna make sure I mix them up. This was a collection that I bought on Amazon. But the great thing about these succulents is they add a different texture. And see how easy that is? I'm sure you can do this too. 
And I want one of these to kind of hang over the edge. So I'll use this one right here to break the edge of that. Start going down the side here. That's all I bought. And now on this side, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some moss. This is kind of a colorful moss because again, this is kind of a drab time of year. So we want to add some color and fun. And I'm going to tuck this up under my succulents like so because we don't want the foam to show. That's the great thing about succulents too, is that they look so realistic that nobody's necessarily going to know that these are artificial. And besides that, I have a terrible time keeping succulents alive. So we're gonna tuck that in there and I'm gonna clean this up and then come back and show you what else we're going to add to fill this in. So with the succulents all in this side and moss in this side, I have collected some white artificial silk flowers and some greenery. And what I'm gonna do, the great thing about dry floral foam, it's very soft. And I'm just going to take these pieces and cut them apart with a good pair of wire cutters and add them to the other half. So when things start to get a little sad and empty after you take down all your Christmas decor, you could add a bright spot with something new. This was not very expensive. It is a great way to brighten up any little spot in your home. You can use this for a centerpiece or you can use it on a shelf. There we go. So don't, don't hesitate to mix succulents with something blooming. And I'm just gonna make a little hole through the moss there to stick that right down in the foam and just a little more greenery and we will be all done. And I'll show you where we're gonna display this on a table. When I brought this upstairs, um, I thought, mm, I really wanted a little bit more white. So I cut three pieces of white silk flowers and I'm just going to add those in around the little silk magnolia blossoms like so. And that makes it a little bit brighter. But now look at this beautiful arrangement you have and how easy that was to do. And when you've taken down all the Christmas, you have something new and cheerful and green to brighten things up. So I hope this is a project you might wanna try. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Home Talk.